Viscosity, modifi viscosity modifiers are a fantastic companion to superplasticizers because they're essentially just the opposite. Superplasticizers make stiff concrete very fluid or runny. I hate to use the term wet because we're not adding extra water. Viscosity modifiers do the, just the opposite. They make very runny concrete a little bit stiffer. Um, and their job is to help stabilize the, the viscosity of the paste. Um, this is a picture of SCC, and this is one of the characteristics of what makes SCC self-consolidating, is that that's the edge of an almost 24-inch or 600-millimeter diameter circle of concrete, a big patty that's self-spread on its own. And the consistency of the edge of that concrete patty is the same as it is toward the center. Very, very important. Um, and that's what I mean by stabilization. Symptoms of segregation. Um, very, very common. I see this a lot with people just starting to get used using super, uh, this, the very powerful super plasticizers or, or just any plasticizer when they use way too much, but especially the, the polycarboxylates is um, they'll put it in their mix and as it's in the mixer, it's just, it's splashing. The concrete's just flowing around. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. And they dump it in their mix, in their, in their bucket, their dispense. Maybe it's a wheelbarrow. Maybe it's a mortar pan or something like that. And they start scooping it into their forms and a f very quickly, all of a sudden, they, they think, oh, it's, it's setting up on me. Well, what's really happening is you're getting segregation because they used too much super plasticizer and they didn't use a viscosity modifier. Segregation was when it, it, what it is is all the rocks and sand sink to the bottom and all the, and that squeezes out the cement paste. And that cement paste looks like pigmented bleed water. So on the, on the photo on the left, uh, this is actually done on purpose to illustrate this. Uh, this is like a charcoal gray concrete that, I, that we made in class. And we purpose, purposefully put too much super plasticizer in. And what you're seeing is the, the cement cream, that's the binder. That's, the, that's a very low water cement ratio cement cream. But it's, it's being squeezed out and forms an excess scum layer of sorts on top. And when that cures, um, first of all, it takes a little longer to cure because um, the polycarboxylates can, can, when they're used in very high doses, they can actually slow down. They can act as a, a slight retarder. But that, that scum layer has no aggregate in it. There's not even any sand in it. And, and that, that can shrink a lot, and you can get a lot of cracks and crazing in that thin layer. Um, now, it's only on the backside, and it's easy to grind off. But if you have far too much of that, you can actually build up a, a scum layer that might be, you know, quarter to three eighths of an inch thick, or six to ten millimeters deep, and that's that's just a layer of that's very poor concrete. So you don't want segregation. Um, this is another photo of self-consolidating concrete that's made improperly. So this may be a, just a conventional mix uh, on the left that had polycarboxylate added to it. And you can see the, the cement paste, that's your cement, and in this case just cement and water, just leaking out like, like paint, like latex paint. And, and then you're left with a pile of wet rocks. Um, whereas on the right, that's what it should look like, where it, it's called a, 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 it's one of the tests to, to, to ensure um, uh, SCC uh, can flow through uh, rebar ob obstruction, so it's a standardized ring. Um, and again, you can see the edges look the same as the middle. Um, so on the left, that's extreme segregation. That's terrible, terrible concrete. But you could, by just if, if the rocks and the sand and all that were correct, you could just add a viscosity modifier and go from what's on the left to the right. Odds are that's not what's happening, but it's potentially possible. So a very common and, and readily available and, and economical viscosity modifier is, a, again, a Fritz Pack product called Slump Buster. And it's a sodium carbonate, um, so it's technically not a true viscosity, viscosity modifier, although it does function very nicely as one. Um, many of my students <laughs> can attest to that. You just sprinkle it, they call fairy dust, you just sprinkle it in like a little dash into your mix, it's not dosed, you just add it by eye at the tail end. And a tiny, tiny bit is very powerful. Now, sodium carbonate, when it's added to concrete in larger doses, can act as a, a set accelerator, and in large dose can actually start to reduce your strength. But we never, ever use it nearly to that degree. 
we're using you know fractions of a percent, um, hundreds of a percent. So it, the amount we add is inconsequential. Now there are commercial viscosity modifiers. Uh, uh, BAS have, has one called Starvis. Um, pretty much every uh, admixture manufacturer has one. Sometimes they're called rheology modifiers. And these tend to be more complex polymers that uh, are more potent and they have less effective uh, on the setting time or the strength. Um, but you typically can't get those in in reasonable quantities. You might have to buy 20 liters of them or, or, or even more. Whereas the Fritz pack you can buy in, in uh, eight ounce bags. So that's r roughly 225 grams. So it's, it's a much more convenient packaging. Um, and there's a lot more distributors. So I've been using that for a long time and it's one, it's like, it's a go-to. So if you're going to have a polycarboxylate, you better have a viscosity modifier because they work together. 